listening to Dennis Prager lecture on the book of Deuteronomy taught the Torah verse by verse and you can get the whole thing at DennisPrager.com makes the note that the New Testament is feelings oriented it's primarily about how we feel and should believe about God while the Hebrew Bible is primarily action oriented now there's plenty about how we should act in the New Testament there's plenty about how we should feel and believe in the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible the Torah but the stereotype is generally true. New Testament feelings oriented. Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh, action oriented. When the Hebrew Bible talks about loving God, it refers primarily to action, not to feelings or to theology. My mischievous side took over a few days ago and I made this Facebook update. Luke Ford got up in shore today and talked about what God had done in his life. I was raised a Christian and so that was how we spoke. Seventh-day Adventist Christian, people would get up in church they testify to what God had done in their lives. This isn't the way that Jews speak. I've never heard a Jew speak that way. We don't speak about God brought me to this place. God told me to do this. We don't talk about God acting in our lives. Our religion is not feelings oriented. It's law oriented. We don't trust feelings. We don't trust the heart. We don't trust people to intuit what God wants. And we don't trust people to feel their way to God and goodness. If I had to get up and show and speak about what God had done in my life, I'd had nothing to say. I'm not sure that God has moved in my life. I have felt his presence at times, but I'm not going to stand up and proclaim anything specific in that area. It's just, I can't get my head around talking with assurance about God acting in my life. How do I know? How do I know it's not just a delusion? How do I know it's not just my feelings? In Judaic history, we believe that prophecy ended with prophet Malachi, Malachi about 2,400 years ago. Orthodox friend comments on my Facebook status, but it could have been an impromptu devout Torah spiritual release while under the influence of vodka, perhaps during Kiddush. Wouldn't be the first time a chassid with a long beard is inspired to speak by his Rebbe.